Hello boys and girls, Miss Doe here. If you're watching this, then I'm already dead. Oops, wrong line. <laughs> if you're watching this, then someone is already dead and we're here to remember his or her name. Actually, we're here to remember their stories. Today's case is about a little girl named Little Miss Nobody, also known as Jane Yavipai though. The case happened in 1960, and it's still unsolved. Come on, let's begin. On the 31st of July, 1960, a school teacher Russell Allen was searching for rocks with his family near Congress in Yavapai County, Arizona. Russell was just off Alamo Road, about 1.5 miles from Highway 93, when he stumbled upon a partially buried body in the creek bed of a sand wash. The body was that of a female had been dead for one to two weeks. Her body was charred. She was wearing a checkered blouse with white or pink shorts and her fingernails and toenails were painted bright red. Near her body was a pair of adult-sized flip-flops fastened with leather straps that had been cut down to fit her feet. There was also a rusty pocket knife next to her that seemed blood-stained. It is unknown if it was related to the girl. Evidently, the person or people that had dumped the girl's body had tried to dig two other graves near where she was ultimately placed. The girl was between the ages of 2 and 7. Most recent examinations have pointed to the likelihood she was between 3 and 6. The young girl had brown hair that may have been tinted or dyed auburn. She was about 3 feet 6 inches and 55 pounds. At the time, she was classified as being white, but most recently this has been changed to undetermined. The child had a perfect set of baby teeth and had never suffered any bone fractures. The coroner was not able to determine the cause of death because the body was too decomposed. Nevertheless, the case is classified as a suspected homicide. Authorities tried to find the girl's family or anyone who could identify her. They questioned several suspects of crimes involving children and examined missing child reports. They also traced migrant families. Dozens of people sent telegrams, letters and called asking for information on the body. Sadly, she became known as Little Miss Nobody after no one came forward to identify her. Over the years, she has been linked to various missing children. One of the most prominent speculations is that she is Sharon Lee Gallagos. Four-year-old Sharon was abducted on July 21, 1960 from an alley behind her home by a man and a woman. It is believed they had been stalking her for a few days. However, authorities believe Little Miss Nobody was older than Sharon. Furthermore, a couple of reports say the girl's footprints were compared and did not match. Despite being known as Little Miss Nobody, Yavapai County's residents came together to give the young girl a proper funeral and a burial. Dave Paladin, a local radio announcer, started a campaign to raise funds because he couldn't stand to see the little girl buried in a boot hill. A service was conducted by Dr. Charles Franklin Parker. A few of his words during the ceremony attended by over 70 people. Here is a little wanderer who has been in our midst. We don't know her name. We can only guess her age. It occurs to me we may not know, but God knows. There are no unknowns, no orphans in God's world. We may never know the whys and wherefores, but somewhere, someone is going to be watching the paper to learn what happened to a little girl left on the desert. If there has been a mass deed, probably a disquieted conscience will go on and on. The girl was buried in a pale blue casket and her memoriam card was read, God's little child, date of birth, unknown, date of death, unknown. An anonymous mourner also left a note. Forgive us, child, for the weakness of man, and in turn, when in your final home, pray for us. In 2018, 
the NCMEC found that the exhumation of the unidentified girl's remains. The University of North Texas Center for Human Identification generated a DNA profile and it was entered into the national database. An image of what the girl may have looked like while alive was also created. Little Miss Nobody remains unidentified after six years. Thank you for watching. Thank you for remembering this little girl with me. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. If I told something wrong about the case, you may correct me by writing a comment. Have a life full of stars. Till then.